This is Marvin March, where we take a look at an album a day by Marvin Gaye, leading up to, unfortunately, his untimely death. Kicking things off is Marvin Gaye's debut album, The Soulful Moves of Marvin Gaye. The Soulful Moves of Marvin Gaye was released on June 8, 1961. The genre is jazz, traditional pop, and R&B. It was released on Tamla, the label by Motown, and the producer was Barry Gordy. The Soulful Moves of Marvin Gaye is the second long playing album released by Motown. At the time, Marvin had an identity crisis when it came to how he wanted to sing his music. He was a fan of Nat King Cole, who, you know, is like the black Frank Sinatra, Billy Eckstein, uh, Little Willie John, and Jesse Belvin. On this particular release, Marvin wanted to create an album that was like Ray Charles. Ray Charles had just released his album and it peaked at number four on the charts. That album is, of course, Genius Plus Soul Equal Jazz. That album by Ray Charles was released in February of 1961. Marvin Gaye saw the success of it and he said, I wanted to do that. Barry Gordy, on the other hand, nah, not so much. He didn't want Marvin Gaye to do that. He wanted Marvin Gaye to tap into that gospel voice type of thing that he does. And they finally reached a compromise where he said he would do a couple of songs like that, but he wanted to do this on that King Cole ballad style of music. And the album flopped. No one wanted to hear that shit. The single, Let Your Conscience Be Your God, didn't do shit. Uh, the rest of it really didn't do much of anything. The album, just to keep it blunt, y'all, just keep it uh, a bean, as they say. Keep it 100. It's just not good, y'all. I like it as a fan. I love to hear him sing. But a lot of you, probably 90% of you watching this video will have never even heard of this album. Genius plus soul equal jazz. Listen to, this is your homework, listen to I'm Gonna Move to the Outskirts of Town and listen to I Got News For You. And then turn around and listen to this album. You will hear the stark difference between the two. The best song you'll hear from me are My Funny Valentine and Let Your Conscience Be Your Guide. This is one of four albums that Marvin Gaye tried to do in this particular style. And we will discuss them all and walk through the progression of Marvin Gaye as a vocal artist as well as a creative artist. Uh, so come back tomorrow and let's discuss the next one.